What's up everyone? If you're anything like me, you've had a very busy week and it's time for some flicks and chill. So let's see what we have on the tube tonight. Let's see, do we hit the play button? No? Let's try zero. Play original, Jason and Martha. Sure. Yeah, why not? So I'm guessing we're gonna be playing out the stories that we see on flicks. Okay, a game by. So I'm guessing this is our iPhone and a little stereo. Jason, love it. Okay. Hit play. Let's see what happens. Flix and chill. I, I think this is the original one. I remember seeing. A, I want to say a demo or an early version of this a while back, but. Oh boy, my Tinder date will be here super soon. Man, I hope it goes well. Yeah, me too. Like, those kind of blind date things can always be a bit stressful and you never know what to expect. Just need to get a few things set up. Like me dropping screws and shit on my desk while I'm trying to record this. All right, let's go to the TV. All right, Netflix is a go. Now all I need is the chill. I'm assuming that means we need to grab a drink or two, or what's well, in the desk here, or drawer. Is that chill? Chill Oostress. Okay. Oh, that must be my date. Oh man, I hope it's a date and then I hope it's not a friggin' salesman. Oh man, does my hair look good? Do I have something in my teeth? Oh yeah, I don't have teeth. Whew. Well, this thing to worry about. I like how self-aware that game is. That's freaking great. Here goes nothing. Oh, please don't let it be like a 17 tentacled monster. Deep breaths, Jason. Deep breaths. Just another person. Just another person. Yeah, I don't know. The, the few blind dates I've been on, they're always like stressful like this. Oh, hello. Hello there. Welcome. Hi. Enter. Please. Uh, let's see, should we hug, shake hands, or high five? High five seems like a bro-y thing to do. Um, hugging might be a little too forward. Let's, you know what? Jason's already nervous. Let's shake hands. It's a pleasure to meet you in person, Martha. Likewise, Jason. Were you talking to yourself a moment ago? No, I never talk to myself. I don't run a YouTube channel or any other video channel where I just happen to talk to myself for hours on end with nobody in the room with me. I mean, no. <laughs> um, you know what? There's no point in lying. She already heard us through the door, so yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, you heard that. I guess I got a little, I, I guess I get a little uh, nervous on dates. I get a little nervous reading, apparently. <laughs> That's okay, I'm a little nervous too. I talk to myself all the time, especially when I'm nervous. Do good on YouTube. <laughs> you too, huh? Well, glad to hear I'm not totally crazy. Well, come on in. So I've got the chill and I've got the flicks ready and... Let's hope this doesn't become a train wreck where my living room gets set on fire. So, what are we watching? A documentary, a romantic comedy, or a hero superhero series. Um, you know what? I actually am kind of a big documentary person, and I know that might be kind of lame, but let's see what happens. A documentary. Oh, what's it on? Factory farming, sushi, or ocean life. I don't, I don't know what factory farming is, but I love sushi, and the ocean terrifies me. Um, this all seems like it could lead into one story. Let's do sushi, because I love sushi. It's a documentary about this guy who's like the world's greatest sushi chef. It's really inspirational. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Cool. <laughs> like I'm not a total dork. Uh-oh, hand holding. Ten minutes later, the living room is on fire, and there's screeching sirens all over the place. So, I just realized that with these movie dates, it's kind of hard to get to know the person, you know? I agree, I always thought a first first date was 
kind of a bad thing to take a person to a movie or anything like that because you don't really get to talk or anything fun like that so uh, I couldn't agree more <laughs> so we say we have a conversation move on to something a little more interesting all right let's see what happens move on to something a little more interesting if you know what I mean um like what we could play part cheesy make a move oh I'm thinking if I make a move she seems like she's a pretty relaxed girl but like uh, let's let's hold off on being a total asshole right now pretend I was joking <laughs> this is kidding oh <laughs> I guess you got me I have an idea how about we have a conversation conversations are always nice I agree, unless you really dislike the person, and then you can have a very bad conversation, because it ends up being a bunch of yelling and name-calling. What do you want to have a conversation about? Uh, let's have a deep intellectual discussion about society. Um, okay. That's a pretty broad subject, though. Have anything more specific in mind? Yeah, that's kind of like, hey, let's solve all the world's problems. Let's start, um, with grass clippings down with society what are your political views um I think we're trying to actually get through this date and not make it a total fucking train wreck so let's just, rather than the really inflammatory <laughs> statement right here let's just ask what her views are what are your political views which again this can this can make this conversation get firebombed in like four seconds also well, I lean democratic for the most part, but aren't we not supposed to talk about politics or something? One of the seven sins of dating. To hell with what we should or should not do. Oh yeah, you're right. You know what, I'm gonna do the first one, whatever. Screw rules. To hell with, that, with what we should or should not do. I prefer to just do what I want. Oh, I like your style. <laughs> Thanks. I just feel like we have all these hidden societal rules and regulations that are not productive for society. Yeah, it kind of seems like people do try to force like weird rules that are unwritten into like everything. You can't talk about this or you can't offend these people. It's censorship masquerading as political correctness. Well, you're really quite passionate about this, aren't you? You know what, we've gone this far, yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I think most of our troubles in this world can be solved if people would just hear each other out, discussing things. That's what makes a democratic society, you know? Can't argue with that. Hey, uh... What do you say we... Play a game? Okay, what do you have in mind? Uh, I got the new Mortal Kombat. Let's play Truth or Dare. Ooh. That's what I was about to ask. Are you, like, in sixth grade or something? You know what? He already seems like he's got some issues. Why not? You chicken? This date's going sideways real fast, isn't it? <laughs> so much for trying to have a real date. What, you chicken or something? Alright. Me? No way. I just called you out on your Marty McFly. But you're going first since it's your idea. You know, fair play. Fair play, Martha. Works for me. Okay, Jason. Truth. Or dare. Oh, let's see how stupid this can get. Okay, let's dare. Dare. Glad to see you're not a whip. <laughs> okay, I dare you to... Stick your penis in an electrical socket. I mean, what? Yes. Hold on. I'm trying to think of a good one. First thing that comes to mind, Martha. <laughs> I dare you to do your sexiest dance. <laughs> You're joking, right? Why would I be joking, asshole? What, are you scared? Dude, you call- You're the one that wanted to play Truth or Dare, now you gotta put the fucking banana hammock on and do your thing. I don't want to scare you. A, a little psh, I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared. Psh, I ain't scared. <laughs> 
<laughs> How many times am I gonna say that? Something about that line is just really funny. Hammer time, moonwalker, twerk. All right, I've I've kind of um, gotten away from trying to make this an actual date, and I just want to see how much of a fucking plane crash this can be. Let's twerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Mm. You are so funny. What can I say? But I was born this way. Oh, man. Hold the applause, please. That's That was really good. I didn't expect that. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, your turn, Martha. Truth or a dare? Well, I wouldn't mind doing a dare. Gonna have to go with truth since it's already steamy enough in here with that dance you just did. <laughs> ah, understandable. Okay, my question for you is... What's your biggest fear? What do you think of me? Make a move. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Let's do that. Maybe there's something really terrible like I killed a man. And then I stuffed him in the back of a junked out car's trunk and nobody ever found the body. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Oh, uh, well, that got intense pretty quickly. Well, I'm waiting. Haha, -ha, okay. When I was a little girl, I thought that Carrot Top was really hot. Ew. <laughs> if you guys have seen a picture of Carrot Top now, man, he is fucking scary looking. He is huge. Like, he's definitely taking the bodybuilding lifestyle to a to a level, for sure. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what? Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. I don't know, he was so confident in his weird appearance, I thought that was sexy, I guess. You know what? Fair enough. There definitely is a, an attractiveness to confidence, for sure. Remind me not to ask any questions like that again. You asked for it, dickhead. Oh, this is a good part. Let's get back to the show. Not fighting you there. Oh, this <laughs> this date is going sideways, maybe. All right, 20 minutes later. Let's see where we're at now. I think at this point, maybe I should try to make a move because, hey, this is part of the game, right? It's been nice, but I th think it's about time I left. What? So soon? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I have some laundry to do. No, I'm gonna ask her to stay and then I'm gonna make my move. Well, come on, just stay for a little bit longer. I'm having a good time. Please! I don't know, I have work tomorrow and I should be getting to bed early. I'm gonna stand up. I'm doing this. I'm gonna convince her. I can get snacks! You're making a big mistake. Tell her you really like her. Fuck it. Let's do that. I really like you, Martha. I know that if you walk out the door, I probably won't ever see you again. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Let's do this. Kiss her. Oh my god, it actually worked. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I think I can stay a little while longer. Wow. Wow, that turned out a lot better than I expected it to be. I have to say, uh, I'm actually really enjoying... Enjoying this game. It, like... The options seem fairly realistic and weird at the same time, if that makes sense. Based on my own weird life experiences, that's pretty neat. Anyway, that's the first story of uh, Flicks and Chill. Let, let me know what you guys think of the game. If you want to see the rest of the stories, I'll play through it, because I definitely had fun with that first story. Anyway, thank you all for checking out the video. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment, and leave me a like. I'll talk to you guys next time, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you later, everyone.